the first time in Bike Week history, Main Street is closed to everything except motorcycles for the duration of this event. Officials think it might help control the crowd, but so far we see a lot of folks here regardless. So sick of sitting in the house. I did it for the first three or four months. I said, I'm done. Seems a lot of people are done with COVID quarantine. The crowd is swelling in the heart of Daytona Beach and at other venues, including Destination Daytona. I think everyone's ready to begin anew, like to start new things. There are no limits on folks outdoors, of course, though some business owners are obligated to keep the indoor crowd at 60% occupancy. However, few here seem concerned about coronavirus, and we didn't see many wearing masks. We've masked up for a year follow what we were supposed to do for a year. I think most people have either had it or moved on by now. Officers are on patrol at the various locations, though they say they are not the social distance police. Instead, they're just here to keep the peace and keep an eye out for bad behavior like this. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young tweeted out a video captured by a bridge tender, a biker roaring across a drawbridge after it started to open. Be safe, the chief says, and be smarter than this guy. In addition to bike week, it's the beginning of spring break. Fewer college students are expected, but there will be some overlap of bikers and breakers. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. Bike week runs for nine days, ending on March 14th. Meet